Hey, world history students, just Mr. John here, just to kind of go over a few things with you. That way, we're, this is week four already, so we're almost halfway through the first, the third quarter of the second semester. So just a couple things to go over with you, reminders, whatnot. First, remember we have two only two assignments per week, Mondays and Wednesdays, unless otherwise, like for this week, for example, we did um, Tuesdays and Thursdays because of, or Monday and Thursday, excuse me, because of um, MAPS testing. So um, there's that, but usually Mondays and Wednesdays. So keep that in mind. Zoom tutoring meetings. Remember they're not mandatory. This is only if you need help. Our Thursdays and Fridays, the link is on your Schoology page on World History. You know, if you need help with something and you wanna pop in and I can show you how to do it, we can do that. So there's that. Um, I want to thank the students who've been coming on on a regular basis, working hard to get caught up, staying on top of their class on world history and their other classes. I know it's not easy. Uh, coronavirus has thrown us for a loop, not just us, the whole world, if you think about it. You know, we haven't seen something like this since the 1918 Spanish flu that hit the world. So, you know, we got to just plow through and, and and survive it. So I want to thank all those students who are really trying hard and, and doing the best they can with the situation that we've been thrown into. Um, students who aren't getting on often enough or not at all, you know, get your butts in gear. We need, you know, you need to get your credits. You need to, to get on the ball and not let this pile up. And then you just say, oh, I'll give up. You know, if anything, this whole the last almost a year has taught us that you need to, you know, we all have to kind of grow a little bit and become stronger and not look for excuses. And so, um, you know, if you haven't been getting on often enough or not at all, you know, try it. It's like with anything, you know, you know I've heard some, some students say, well, school, gee, I, I don't understand it. It's like basketball. If I'm a terrible free throw shooter, and so well, I'm not just gonna, I'm not, I'm terrible, I'm not gonna work at it. You're not gonna get better, but you have to work at it over and over and over. Put hours in the gym. Same with school, you got to put the hours in. So there's that. So if you haven't been getting online, you need to. We do less work online than we would do in, in person classes. So you need to get online and get your work done. Simple as that. I mean, I don't know what more I can tell you. I believe me, I wish I was in class with you guys. We were doing what we were supposed to, but we're not. So we have to make the best of the situation. Um, one last reminder here. If you are uh, thinking about playing sports next fall, and I know a lot of you probably are, you have to pass four classes. That's the first thing. South Dakota High School Activities Association says that a student must pass four classes in the previous semester to be eligible the next semester. So that means the fall semester. You pass the four classes, you're good. If you don't, you're ineligible. That means no football, no cross country, no boys golf, no volleyball. And if you're a basketball player, first half of the season is gone for you. So do it, get your work done. If you're thinking about playing sports next fall, get it done, get passed. So just a couple of reminders, you know, it's not easy. I know what's not easy, what you guys are going through. It's not easy for me, but we have to make the best of it. So let's get her done. We'll see you guys later.